Is this the beginning of the end of solar scans? I certainly hope so. 2024 has seen the demise of a slew of really large solar installation companies. Now, while the financial climate of high interest rates and the lack of working capital contributed to this meltdown, one really overlooked factor was the use of deceptive sales practices. Now, rather than hoping that there will be an ethical turnaround in the solar industry, I think it's better to be prepared to deal with any and all of these deceptive practices. In this video, I'm going to cover the seven most deceptive practices that could cause you thousands when you're thinking about solar. Now, stick around to the end because the battery scam is the one which can cause you the most grief, and I'll cover that as my seventh scam. So, starting with scam number one is the promise of government sponsored free solar programs. Now, this comes in different guises. Sometimes they call it a clean energy program, a utility solar program, free solar panels in your zip code, etc. All these free state and utility programs are not actually programs run by either the state or the utility company. They're all run by the solar company and they are basically tactics to make sure you start feeling secure and think hey, the state or that big utility company is behind these programs, so I have nothing to worry about. Now, an average solar system costs anywhere from $15,000 to $50,000. And solar companies recover up to 50% of these costs from incentives and tax credits. The remaining costs are recovered from you. You usually pay the solar company a monthly solar electricity bill for the next 25 years. This is the standard solar lease or the PPA. Now, the solar company would like you to sign on the dotted line based on the promise of lowering your electric bill by 30 to 40 percent. Now, the devil is in the details. There are two red flags to look out for. Number one is the monthly payment. Those monthly payments are typically fixed for the first year and then they increase every year by around 2.9 to 3.9 percent. Now, this increase might look small, but it has a compounding effect and could cost you thousands. It's usually better to go for the zero escalator payment where the rates never go up. Or if you do decide on the escalator payment, you have to make sure you start with a very low starting payment. Solar scam number two, free gifts. A lot of solar companies offer free alarm, security system, television, a $1,000 gift card. Beware. The cost of all these freebies is factored into your monthly solar price. Another reason the solar companies like to lead with a gift is that going solar takes a while. After you sign up, there are multiple steps involving different agencies like the state, the township, the electric company, the building department, and so on and so forth. From sign up to a fully approved and installed system could take three to four months. These gifts are basically a way to lock you into the process. The chance of you deciding to cancel reduces if you've accepted one or more of these freebies. Here's a tip. You can safely cancel and opt out of a solar contract, even if you're beyond the usual three to seven day cancellation period. As long as there is no glass on your roof and the solar company has not started installation, almost all solar companies will charge you nothing if you cancel. They do not have the time or the resources to go after folks who cancel and cancellations after three, seven, 10 days is very common. However, if you've made a deposit, they might not return your deposit. So I usually advise all my buyers who go solar through me not to pay a deposit until they have a final solar design plan in front of them. Solar scam number three, ending up with two large electric bills after going solar. 
Now, the solar promise is at least a 30 to 40 percent lower electric bill in total after going solar. That includes your new electric bill from the electric company and the solar bill that you're paying. You should end up with a total figure that's between 30 to 40 percent lower than what you were paying earlier. Now, sometimes what happens is that the solar companies they overpromise the electric energy production from the solar panels. This happens as a result of installing less panels than you need. Some solar companies will promise you big savings but give you less panels and you will end up being unable to offset your electric bill. You could end up with not only a big solar electric bill but a fairly big utility electric. Now, this is because your solar company did not take care of designing a properly sized system for you. Now, your utility bill after solar should only show fixed fees like connection and service fees that appear on the bill regardless of whether you have solar or not. Now, in most states, this is less than 10 bucks a month. So, states like California and a few others have fixed fees which are higher at about 35 or so. So avoid the double bill scam by calling your electric company and asking them what your last 12 months of electricity uses was in kilowatt hours. Share this information with at least three solar companies and get solar designs that show the system output in kilowatt hours. Insist that the design system produces at least 100% of your annual consumption. Now, you're likely to find different estimates of solar productions from very similarly sized systems. For example, a company A with 20 panels and a company B with also 20 panels might show different production estimates. That happens because these companies use different software programs with different estimates for shade, solar, roof design, etc. Sophisticated design programs, on the other hand, use additional factors like LiDAR, irradiance, 3D roof imaging, and the path of the sun to give you more accurate estimates. So it's always better to base your decision of choosing a company that shows you a more conservative, lower production estimate for solar and also something that's based on sophisticated design programs. Solar scam number four is selling you a lease, loan, or a cash system designed with older solar panels and cheaper string inverters. Now, there are many videos online that have excellent recommendations on the best solar equipment, including solar panels and inverters, some on my channel too. But here is a quick summary of the best equipment choices as of today. Get the newest solar panel models from top solar brands like REC, Silfab, Trina, Jinko, Panasonic, Tesla, QCell, etc. Make sure the solar panels have an efficiency of 21% or more and you are game on, that's a good choice. Some companies might offer you a solar panel from some of these brands, but they'll be older. You usually 400 watts or lower means they are older. Make sure the brand and model you contracted for is the one you get. When the panels come to your home, lift them up, look at the label on the back and assure that you're getting the panel you paid for. Avoiding string inverters is essential. Stick to either end phase microinverters or solar edge optimizers and inverters. Both are excellent choices. Now, I can work out a no obligation free solar quote for you using the best value for money equipment in the solar market. Use my quote compared with others' bids to see that you're getting a good deal. I work with some of the nation's top installers to bring you outstanding solar deals. Feel free to email me, call me, or book time on my calendar on my website, mysolarhome.us. Scam number five is fairly common and involves financed solar systems or solar systems. With a loan. Now, solar financing allows you to pay your system off with a fixed monthly loan payment. Anybody buying a solar system with a loan is likely to be enticed by low interest rates. 
3.99% or 4.99% interest. They look great, but trust me, they have hidden financing fees that you may not notice. Like the solar lease or the PPA, loans have no upfront payments and the monthly payments start after the solar systems get installed. Loan terms vary between 15 to 25 years. They could be shorter too. Now, real interest rates are pretty high. The only way to offer lower interest rates is that the banks add fees to the cost of the solar system. It's like points on a mortgage. So a system that costs 20,000 cash might end up with 40% dealer fees tacked onto it. The new system price could be shown as 28,000 and they'll give you a 3.99% on 28,000. You feel happy. The bank is happy since those fees, the 8,000 extra goes directly to them. The solar company, in fairness, does not get anything, whether you take a low interest loan or a high interest loan, they still get that 20,000. The 8,000 is for the bank. It's best to take a loan with a price that is same as cash or price that's slightly higher. These will have higher interest rates, but they are so much easier to pay off in the coming years when you end up with a, with a windfall or a bonus and you'll be out of that loan. Now, the other option is to look for your own financing. A home equity line of credit might be the way to go with much lower interest rates. And you could go to the solar company, take a cash deal for them, but back it up with your own loan from your bank. Solar scam number six is installing solar on a roof that's more than 15 years old. Most current ash falls shingle roofs have 20 to 25 years of life. Solar systems also have 25-year warranties. By installing solar on an older roof, you'll end up in a pickle in about 10 to 15 years. Your roof would require replacement and you'll have no choice but to call the solar company to remove the panels and reinstall them. That's at least about $5,000 of unnecessary expenses for the removal and reinstallation. Many solar companies they gloss over this and they say that it will be very low or they might give you a number, but they never keep their commitments. My partner companies offer roof and solar combo deals that allow you to take all the incentives on your solar as part of the solar and roof project. Reach out to me if you have an old roof. Scam number seven. Batteries are really becoming popular with climate change induced weather events causing longer power outages now solar panels don't work during power outages this is in order to save those utility workers who are working on the wires outside to stop them from being electrocuted by your solar panels throwing power out to the grid the only way this can be stopped is the solar panels stop working so that's why you need power during an outage you will need a battery now, two of the biggest scams to avoid with batteries are consumption mode only battery installs and secondly, battery installs that promise whole home backup. Let's start with number one, consumption mode. Now, these are batteries that are the same traditional batteries that you buy, whether from Tesla, Franklin, Enphase or SolarEdge. They look they are the same battery that these companies install, but they are only designed to work when there is grid electricity. They do not work during outages. Consumption mode batteries store electricity during the early morning and late afternoons when the rates are lower and supply that energy to your home during the peak evening hours. So they're great in states like California, which have time of day use and they pay much higher during peak times. Consumption batteries are a good choice for you in California, provided you know you're getting one of those and that these batteries won't work during an outage. So be careful. Make sure you're getting the right kind of battery for your needs. The consumption only batteries are much cheaper and some solar companies push them without giving you details that this might not work during an outage. So be careful what you're looking for. If you're really looking for backup power, make sure you ask for a battery with backup power. Now, speaking of backup power batteries, let's talk about 
whole home backup power. Now, a single Tesla battery or a Franklin battery or a 10 kWh Enphase battery or a solar edge battery just won't power your entire home during an outage. One battery can back up your essentials, your kitchen, your fridge, your TV, internet, router, and lights. It'll keep the family happy, food will be fresh, but that's about it. No air conditioning, no washing machine, no electric range. For full home backups, you are going to need at least three batteries. Two batteries might just do it, but you'll get partial home backup, maybe seven to eight hours of backup. But if you really want full backup, a solid battery system is essential. You need to work with a knowledgeable design professional to properly design what battery system you need, how many you need. So that's it, folks. Seven scams to avoid while doing solar. I hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, have a great one.